check, check. I'm not really sure what I'm even saying, so we'll see how this goes. Hey guys, Mitch with Prism Supply here again. Today, I'm walking you through my personal bike. Um, she's dirty, she's old. I got this bike like seven years ago now as just a stock wide glide 81 shovel head. Took her down to pretty much the frame. Built her up with like a really heavy Japanese style influence, Indonesian. I was watching a lot of that stuff when I was building it. It's gone through a couple iterations since then. Took the old big wide front end off, put a narrow glide on, got those low brow splits on there, uh, made the exhaust. Every run was running, they still are kind of running really long high exhaust. So I wanted to go the opposite direction and make really short low exhaust. You can tell it's got some wear and tear from getting accidents. I get T-boned by car once, kind of just had to switch the front out again. Kept the triple trees, got a nice little crack on there. It kind of reminds me to be careful when I'm riding. I was coming down right out here, big van pulled out in front of me, boom front forks were like this when I got up. The guy started yelling at me, so I started yelling back at him. <laughs> what else is cool and weird? I got these big like touring suspension on there so I can kind of tune it with air. I've got it down to like 11, 8 PSI, so when I cruise, it's nice and cushy. Deep down, this bike is a city bike. I kind of want it comfortable, nimble, so I can jump around, kind of go through traffic, but I also wanted it so I can strap a bag to it, sit, cruise for a long time. It goes about 110 miles per tank, which is not bad. Made these handlebars up here in the shop one day I was bored so I just bent up some handlebars made them nothing we make there I just kind of wing, winged all the uh, dimensions got this cool yellow light from swap meet somewhere sometime kind of the only thing really left from the original bike I got and it's a nice little piggy I had to keep that on there for luck you gotta have a hog on your hog you can find all these little prism bits and bobs and prototypes on here kind of use this bike as a big testing ground for a lot of stuff oil cap the mirror was a first thought here uh, we got an early iteration of the box style chopper light on the back when I bought this bike, the first thing I noticed when I was kind of tearing it down were these push rod covers. As long as I've been looking at bikes, I've never seen a hex pair of covers before. So this is one of the things if I sell the bike, I'm taking these with me, but I'm probably never gonna sell the bike. So I keep her nice and dirty, you know? That way you can't tell when it leaks, but it still leaks, it's a Harley. So staying with the whole like Japanese weird thing they do, I love it so much. I put a Nabi Shinko on the front. I like it, I like the look, I like the feel of it. It just kind of makes it stick out a little more than just having a regular old street tire on there. I made this thing before I even started working for Prism. Just made it in my house shop, kind of just bent it up in a man rail. Nice and thick so I can put a pack on and really lean up against it like it's a couch. When I kickstart the thing, because I got the shocks so soft, I gotta be on the bike or otherwise they take up too much of the suspension and it'll never start. So I gotta like preload the suspension before I kick it. Kind of stupid, but again, I like stupid. These low brow splits, they come with a 22 petcock bung and I cut it out and put in a quarter because I like the quarter a lot. But honestly, I don't really need a petcock because you can tell, you can tell I don't really touch it very often. <laughs> oh, I got this really cool derby cover because it is a 81, so it's 80 cubic inches. Uh, I found this because I want to keep a lot of cast cast feel on the bike and these are kind of kind of hard to come by not super hard but just really like the look of them same with a couple other pieces on here just want to try to keep the cast look like that's what I try to do with this tumbled piece that we make or this cap I like the look of stock stock castings castings are cool right. by the psychic shifter <laughs> That's why we wanted to make the psychic shifters because castings are cool and if we can cast it in town and be all made within 10 miles, that's a cool casting. So you got to start it, you got to get on the bike. to work in a psychic shifter plug on <laughs> <laughs> You're really selling it. 